Hey guys, Bookworm here, bringing you another episode for our Bookworm Plays Maple Story Mercedes Edition. In our last episode, we actually stopped right before we went to rescue the kids. After we found out that it wasn't Cootie who sent the kids running, it was actually the other fairy named Fairy Kalayan because he decided that the fairy children should not be children and should not emulate humans. With that said, they ran away because, you know, they're fairies, they want to be whatever. And so, right now, we're actually going to go rescue them. After we sell half of this stuff that we don't need. Let's see. Oh! Level 40 shoes, okay. And no, that's not really gonna help me. That's in, that's magician. Okay, that's not gonna help me because that's a bow. It's not gonna help me either. And hats never help me because I have a really good horse face hat. So we're gonna try to recuperate that $800 that we, a mesa that we just spent, which is this one, but whatever. Oh, that's the female version. Alright. I don't need boobies on my character. Um, I could get rid of that. I could get rid of the fairy dust. I can get rid of the bookmark. Cubic Chaos Blade. Yes. But yeah. Oh, crap. Oh. Like, I'm still in, like, other game mode where I use WSAD to move forward, and I completely forget Maple uses up, down, left, right buttons. Just because I'm a dork and I forget. Oh, what the hell is this? Okay, I could use less lag. That. Uh, yeah, I could use less lag. Like, for real. Huh. My p maple is running a little smoother. Thank God. Wait, I need to talk to the little boy named Cooties. Oh, I don't have a chair still. I need a chair! He's using Cootie senses. And now we have to take out 60 on oniony oniony monsters. Yeah, on your knee, monsters. All right, guys. Um, as I video, as I record this episode, I'm not gonna be making commentary in the actual game. I'm actually gonna talk about something else. So be warned that. It's gonna be, I guess not a rant, but more like a, mm, I don't know how you're gonna, so gonna take it, but basically it's not gonna be a Maple Story topic. The topic for this video is actually gonna be, I don't know, it's about K-pop. It's gonna be about K-pop, like legit K-pop. Okay. For you guys who probably wouldn't know what K-pop is, it stands for Korean Pop. And um, I don't know just how, you know, how wide or how far it's been in the world. But it originated from South Korea. And um, I've been into K-pop since probably 2009. And the group that brought me there is this group called SNSD Sonyoshide. 
Girls' Generation in America, Soldier Jidai in Japan, and in Korea, it's either Girls' Generation or Sonia Shide. There <coughs> there's nine members, well, there were nine members until they kicked out one of them, which happens to be my ultimate bias, which is, her name is Jessica Jung, and she's my ultimate bias. Her voice is actually the reason I got into K-pop because I heard her hit that high note and I just went, Ooh, high note, let's go. And um, so I was really, I was on vacation to in Hawaii last year when they announced, when I found out that, oh yeah, they kicked, like the, her group and her company kicked out Jessica from the group. So... From that time on, and now it's April, I have stopped listening to K-pop. Just even though I was a diehard um, Sewon, which is like the name for the great the K-pop um, fandom of Sonia Sude, even though I was a hardcore Sewon, I felt betrayed that they would kick out their own member when they promised us OTP9 or OT9, which is like one true pairing uh, one true nine which like it's it's kind of weird but yeah and like so they kicked her out i stopped listening to k-pop because i mean what the hell is k-pop happening to now and then i guess this is the main point of my on my rant they just recently released their japanese comeback called um catch me if you can Okay, officially, oh, my throat. Officially, they're not coming back to promote the single in Japan until, I believe, April 22. But as a treat or maybe as a bomb, B-A-L-M, a bomb, to like all the Sawan's feelings who got hurt because they kicked out Jessica, they released a Korean version of the song. So there's a Korean, uh, which they released it in April 10 of this, like, you know, a few days ago. And along with it, they released the music video. And I feel that the video is awesome. It is exactly something that the fan, the fan group of SNSD Girls Generation has been waiting for. It has a fiercer feeling. The song is more edm -y. It was just like perfection. The vocals on point. The dance choreo on point. It was everything we were looking for throughout the years from SNSD, but we never got it. But ever since they started coming out in Japan, Japan seems to, their Japan releases seems to always slay the Korean version. Because in Japanese, they're not afraid to be like more rough. So when they released the Korean version of the video, I watched it. And as much as I love the video and all of the things I just said, I felt that it was a little way too late. I know it sounds weird, but to me, that's not a bomb. If they had released the song, I mean, it's it's nice of them to release it, what, maybe six months after they kicked out Jessica. It's nice for them to wait that long. Because then it doesn't look like they're insensitive to the fandom by kicking one of their own and then like suddenly releasing a video where she's not a prominent member. She's one of the main vocalists. Okay. And um, so I give them props for waiting that long to at least release it. But it felt like they waited a little too long. You know what I mean? It's like if they waited, they they could have waited fine. That's that's good that they waited. 
but six whole freaking months to try and assuage the rampant of panic that the fandom went through because of the whole Jessica thing and though okay one of the things I really liked about the video was they actually they actually showcased the the under the underrated members the four main dancers they gave them so much lines and they gave them like all a lot of the screen times and they shown they really shown in that whole video and it was awesome but at the end of the day it's a still a little too late you know what I mean it's like okay but that's that's still technically not NS SNSD because they're missing a member and um, and the video itself even though they're not promoting it in Korea they released it to promote it in Japan it feels like the video was one of those make it or break it videos for them which is understandable because they lost a member so now they're trying to see they're trying to hype up the group so all the old school members I mean all the old school fandom is gonna still feel like oh you girls still rock so for them, it's a make it and break it because believe it or not, there are a lot of gorgeous spazzers, which is like the the fandom that likes Jessica. And yeah, it's there's a lot of hair pornography it in that whole video, and I love it. I love it. I love it. Hair choreography, pornography everywhere hair pornography everywhere and but it's still not enough you know I felt like maybe it's a little too late for them to be releasing this sure release it late away from when Jessica left but don't wait six freaking months where the Swan Nation just basically floated in an unsure boat in the middle of the ocean in the middle of the pink ocean and I shouldn't hold it against SNSD I should hold it against their company who let Jessica go but right from the very beginning I'm not gonna get into it right from the very beginning it was it was clear that the reason Jessica got kicked out was because two to three of the members actually wanted her out of the group I'm not naming which ones because it's not important I know who it is true fans knows who it is and that's all that matters so sorry Gigi as much as I was a Sawan I was a diehard Sawan from 2009 until last year I was willing to wait out for them wherever whenever and buy their albums and all of that good stuff but SM is not the best company because they keep losing like legend groups. If anyone's into K-pop, they everybody knows that basically SM screwed uh, TVXQ, they screwed EXO, and now they're screwing SNSD and I don't know. So yeah, hashtag catch GG is not gonna be flying in my house at all because that's just beside the point girls congratulations you guys made a great comeback in the Korean scene even though it's not a comeback you know because you guys are not promoting it congratulations you guys accomplished something that the Swan Nation had been looking for for years but like I said it's a little too late and it's not going to be that easy to forget exactly what happened 
because a lot of YouTube commenters, like who does reaction videos to K-pop videos, all of them, most of them, majority of them, like especially the ones that's like more well known in the K-pop world, they all said the same thing. This was, this is greatly done, but Jessica is not there. So it's not a true SNSD. Jessica's not there. And it's never going to be OT9 ever again. Unless Jessica comes back. and Or something like that. And when the day happens. I will come back to K-pop. I will start shipping them again. But until then. I'm going to have to hang up my Swan badge. Because there's no way. I'm going to ship OT8. So yeah, that's my point of view in that. And I know I went into tandem a little bit. And I just went crazy. But you have to understand. When something like this. Just rocks your whole. I guess. Music is like a life for me. Music and video games. So when. When music is just. It, it makes me go crazy. So. Sorry about the little rant, guys. Um, crap. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I mean... Yeah. There's still a lot of them who, who ship like SNSD who still believes in SNSD and good for you guys congratulations I hope you guys have fun doing that but I personally cannot ship something like that ever again until she comes back but on a side point though the four members that they were actually focused on on this promotion for Japan was the main dancers the underrated one and there's been like uh there's rumors that a subgroup is actually being fil uh, formed and there's a lot of speculations what that subgroup's style is going to be like but basically the subgroup is going to be called SHY which is stands for Young, Hyoyeon, and Yuri but a lot of people are starting to argue that it's not Yuri, it's Yuna if they put Yuna instead of Yuri I just might not follow Shy after all. Because Yuri is perfect for Shy and Hyoyeon and Suyoung, the main three dancers. And who can beat the dancing queen Hyoyeon? So obviously, I'm hoping that when Shy comes out, it's a little bit EDM y, heavy, heavy EDM music or something like that. And, um, you know, or maybe they can even. I don't know, do like ballads that heighten their husky vocals because they're not being used that much in SNSD before but now they, they're being used because Jessica is gone and their voices, they can actually sing. That is one thing that I had the gripe with SN SM because all these girls they can dance, they can sing, and yeah, they might not have high-pitched singing like the lead vocalists, but their husky ballad voice is still amazing. So if Shai comes back, and it's Suyoung, Hyoyeon, and Hy Yuri, yeah, I totally ship Shai. I totally go back and cheer Shai. But I will not cheer Shai if the Y is actually Yuna, or it's you know or if it's SNS I I can't it's just not in my nature so here's hoping it's actually shy with Yuri and here's hoping that the girls are actually doing you know they have like great stuff planned out for them because yeah I totally ship shy so yeah that's my k-pop brand and that's I'm sorry if you guys are not into K-pop and you guys are just like watching me waste my time away. 
it's you know I'm training and I'm eventually gonna get there oh crap I probably should get there because I spent like a good chunk of this video ranting and raving and woohoo um so yeah um I don't know if anyone's gonna be interested in it but whatever um if anyone is into K-pop, you know, you guys know what's everything that's going on. Anybody who's not into K-pop, I'm sorry for the rant and rave, but just, you know, just an added bonus or maybe not so added bonus. I'm going to put a link below to their new music video called Catch Me If You Can. It's in Korean version because for some reason the Japan version is not being released and it's so hard to find it. So maybe you guys will be into them. Maybe you like their style. Maybe you like the girls. Maybe you like the song. Hey, they could always use new fans. And music is universal regardless of language. So if you guys can appreciate a good EDM track regardless of language. Yeah, I'll post the link below and let you guys listen to it. And maybe you guys have fun with it. Let me know what you guys think. So, yeah. Oh, crap. Where am I? Okay, cooties, where the hell are you? Is cooties next door? Okay. I need a quest. in progress I did and cooties is not there cooties where the hell are you Cooties. Okay, what the hell do you want from me, cooties? Oh, crap. Okay, what do you want from me? Take the portal next to him. Why? Where are you taking me? Tosh the fairy. Oh, okay. Party. Oh, wait. Create party. Uh, so I'll just use P. Create party name. Hashtag catch GG. It's a private party, people. Okay, at least level 30. I'm level 40. I cleared it yay Tosh the fairy oh lord I was so scared okay yeah yeah oh hey I leveled congratulations congratulations okay this video is gonna be a little longer because I ranted and raved and bored you guys so as a treat yeah Okay, you know what? Uh, what is this his name? Todd, there you go. Is going to give us a gift because we're level 40 and yay for level 40s. Okay, I need 
No. Oh crap, look at all those junk I need to get rid of. Okay. So I get more weapon defense if I use the gold brace. But isn't it, I think? Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. I get plus two more if I wear the blue sho shoes. Okay. Pretty much the same on the pants. Except I actually have an added max MP. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Alright. Let's get dressed, guys. But I will keep my bow guns because that is a bitch to find. And I look like I'm wearing horse clothes now. Horse, as in like, horsey, giddy up horse. Yeah. Giddy up horse, not like, yeah. Oh, and of course, I forgot to add my stats. Holy crap, I forgot to add 40 of my ability points. Oops, sorry. And then I forgot to do this. So oh, crap. Alright, so I'm here now. I have 24 to put away. Oh, crapper. Okay, you know what? Um, let me... Copper Sun Maple Story Copper Sun is actually a really good place where I go to get my skill builds for ooh, for my players and Mercedes is actually my third favorite class along and it's tied with Demon Slayer for third because my first one will always always be the magician cleric priest bishop line second is rogue thief assassin uh hermit and night lord so let's see hero all right the mercedes is a hero class you guys already know that okay so i i have one rising piercing storm one rising rush one parting shot one okay dual bowgun boosters okay hold on so at level 34 I was supposed to okay and then at 35 I'm supposed to put one on dual bogan boosters boost or boosters okay and then two on parting shot one more So, max out parting shot. Okay. And then max out spirit surge. Okay. One physical training. Oh, actually, yeah. All of it in physical training. Yeah, we gotta max out physical training, and then next is max out dual bow guns mastery. All right, yay! We are all set, guys. Let's talk to cooties over here. My eyes are stinging here so much. Thank goodness. Oh, 
all right guys you know what i think the video is a little too long now i think it's probably borderline 40 minutes i'm not sure so i'm gonna have to cut it down in this um in this part and i'm sorry for the k-pop rant if you guys are not into k-pop but i just had to get that out of my chest sorry hashtag catch gg you ain't flying in this house this is bookworm signing off